Good morning, friends. This is Danny Ray, pastor of the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia, bringing to you today rays of hope. Today, I want to talk to you about bearing one another's burdens. My friends, we live in such a selfish society. Uh, we have become a self-centered people. But the Bible teaches us that we should bear one another's burdens. In Galatians chapter 6, verse number 2, the Bible says, Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the laws of Christ. My friends, one of the best ways of being sure that we bear one another's burdens is to always be unselfish unselfish enough and concerned enough about others to carry their load, to carry their burdens. You see, a selfish person does not carry the burdens of others unless they're made to do so. But an unselfish person always is reaching into the lives and looking out for others. An unselfish person always seeks out the burdens of others and tries to help them carry the load. An unselfish person uh, usually puts others before they do themselves. The act of unselfish giving and receiving assures a, a mutual burden bearing. To bear another's burdens, my friend, we must be willing to unselfishly give and receive love, an attitude of caring and kindness, and a heart of compassion. To bear another person's burden, we must be willing to unselfishly help others carry their load in life as well as be willing to let others help us carry our load. You see, my friend, to bear another person's burden, we must be willing to listen to the problems, to see the cares, and also the worries of others. To bear another person's burden, we must be willing to ask others if there's anything we can do after we have taken the time to listen. To bear another person's burden, we must be willing to give, listen, not only 100%, but 110% of our efforts in helping others. When we bear another person's burdens, we must be aware others become stronger when we help them become stronger. My friend, when we bear another person's burden, we must remember others uh, become uh, others become weaker when we pre prevent them from shouldering the burdens and responsibilities of, that we all must carry. Helping another person carry their burden is a great deal different than carrying another per person's burden for them. In helping another person carry their burdens, we must recognize there are some burdens each of us must carry on our own. You see, my friend, persons of every age learn maturity and responsibility when they carry their burdens, not when others carry the burdens for them. Persons of every age become strong enough to bear the burdens of others by first learning to be unselfish. God, help us today not to be so selfish, but to see the needs of others and work to help them carry their burden. Now, again, I stress the importance of not carrying the burden for them, but helping them to carry their burden. Uh, Jesus says, By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, that ye love one another. And when we love one another, we'll not be so selfish. Uh, that we can't help to bear one another's load. I pray you have a great day today in the Lord. Uh, I pray that uh, you'll go to the house of God somewhere to worship Him in spirit as well as in truth. And uh, God bless you to always be willing to carry someone else's burden. Father, today we thank you for the opportunity you give us uh, to not be so selfish and to reach into the lives of others. Help us realize the importance of bearing one another's burdens 
In Jesus' name, amen. Be careful out in the world today. Remember to smile. Let others see Jesus in you. Your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read.